What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. In the last video that I uploaded, I talked about a great lie that is often told about lithium batteries. But in this video, I'd like to flip the script and talk about something that's absolutely true about lithium batteries. And while most people believe it's true, I don't think very many people understand why. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you why this is important and use a real world example. So the great lithium truth is that all things being equal, a lithium battery will outperform a lead acid battery. Okay, I know, I know, some of you are saying duh right now or hitting the back button, but stay with me here. We all already know that lithium outperforms lead acid, but why do they perform better? There are three main reasons for this. The first reason is that lithium batteries can charge and discharge faster than lead acid. Lithium batteries can handle a higher charging, and discharging current than a comparable deep cycle lead acid battery. Because of the way they are built, deep cycle lead acid batteries are designed to be marathon runners, not sprinters. But lithium batteries don't have to separate the two, they can do both. The charge cycle for lead acid batteries also requires the current to taper off drastically as the battery gets full. That obviously extends the time it takes to charge the battery. Lithium also tapers off, but not nearly as severely. So by taking a higher current and not having to taper off, a lithium battery can charge much, much faster, several times faster than a lead acid battery. The second reason why lithium performs better than lead acid is because lead acid batteries exhibit a phenomenon described by Poikert's law, which states that the higher the discharge rate of the battery, the lower the delivered capacity of the battery is. In other words, if you put a high load on a lead acid battery, it will discharge faster and give you less total energy output than if you put a small load on the same battery or if you intermittently vary the load up and down to give it some rest. Lithium batteries hardly suffer from this effect at all. Researchers are still trying to pinpoint the degree to which this law applies to lithium, and it does still apply, but the degree is nowhere near the same as lead acid. And the third reason why lithium performs better than lead acid is because they do not suffer as much from voltage drop or voltage sag. As a lead acid battery discharges, the voltage starts at about 12.6 to 12.8 volts and steadily drops. By the time it's between 35 to 50 percent discharged, it will drop below 12 volts. This can be problematic for certain devices or loads that will have to work harder at lower voltages or just not operate at all. Lights, for example, may get dimmer as the voltage decreases. Voltage sag is virtually non-existent in lithium batteries, so when a lithium battery is almost fully depleted, it will still give you almost the same voltage that it did when it was full. Now let's look at a real-world situation and why all of this matters. One Charge is an American lithium battery manufacturer for the material handling industry. They sell specially designed lithium batteries for lift trucks, or what most of us often call forklifts. In 2018, one of their customers, Allen Brothers Inc., was looking at making some upgrades to their production line. Like most companies, they've been using lead acid batteries in their lift trucks, and they were starting to see that costs and performance were causing problems. The company operated over 30 lift trucks and was finding that the maintenance required for lead acid batteries and the long charge times were leading to a lot of downtime. They estimated that between watering the batteries and recharging them, they were incurring up to 750 minutes of downtime every day. Not only that, but lead acid batteries are big and bulky and require a lot of storage space. One Charge supplied Allen Brothers with some lithium batteries for their lift trucks and they quickly found some great benefits. Employees started charging the lithium batteries at the end of the day and by 3 a.m. the next morning when the next shift arrived, they were fully charged and ready to go. Employees were also able to charge up the batteries a little bit during their 15 minute breaks and their 30 minute lunch breaks to help last the battery throughout the day. And finally, the new batteries were performing consistently well throughout the day whereas the lead acid batteries they replaced were slowing down by about 20% before they would need to be recharged. Needless to say, this has been a huge production improvement for Allen Brothers. So in summary, there's a lot of things that we can debate about lithium versus lead acid batteries. 
Price is one of those. It's up in the air depending on certain factors. However, there's no denying that the performance is better on a lithium battery than a lead acid battery. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, do me a favor and hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.